was diagnosed six years ago and was told there really wasn't much out there at the time. My father passed away from the disease about seven years ago when there was not much available to him. Those with advanced melanoma, maybe 5% had a positive outcome. I was just floored by all the people in the room who were totally dedicated to um, eradicating this disease. My wife was stricken with uh, stage 2 melanoma. Last year I lost my sister. This was very important to us as a family to try to address and see if we could help the field. In the 10 years that we've been funding melanoma research, it's just unbelievable to see what's come to fruition. One of the things we're most proud of at the Melanoma Research Alliance is our ability to bring together all constituencies, whether it's philanthropists, scientists, researchers, FDA, pharmaceutical companies, everybody who cares about finding a cure for melanoma. I coordinate a team of researchers. We are from different countries. So the fact that they also find the best research around the world is actually really very important. One very important and touching aspect of the MRA meetings for me is to hear the melanoma patients, the melanoma survivors. As a basic researcher, I wouldn't have any connection, but to hear the real story, it goes a long way. The MRA stands out as a beacon to young scientists that if you choose to work in the field of melanoma, you'll have a chance for funding. I also participate in the, the grant review process. Uh, every single year, there's a different emphasis uh, in the meetings in terms of where the field is moving. You can get a feel for that. The research that's being presented here has largely been catalyzed by MRA's timely and important funding. Of the 11 new treatments that have come online since MRA was founded, We've, in one way or another, funded research that has touched all 11 of those new treatments. MRA had a huge impact on driving that research forward at a time when it was otherwise becoming extremely difficult. All of our donors' money, including sponsors of this retreat, is not for administrative or fundraising expenses. It gets right to patient engagement into education and to the science and research. The progress towards cures in melanoma has been tremendous over the last couple of years. Our work is leading to progress in lung cancer, brain cancer, and many other areas. Could medicine be a cell, not a pill? What did you mean by that? We did feel that melanoma had become, by that point of time, front runners or front bearers in a new way of thinking about cancer therapy. At the meeting here, there's been a bit of an con additional convergence of recognizing that any use of indoor tanning and its associated melanoma risk is an opportunity for melanoma prevention. And so there are now 15 states that have actually uh, prohibited tanning um, among minors. Starting with the meeting this year, we also have the publishing people in here, patient advocacy people here. So this is a pretty unique opportunity to have everyone under one roof. Over the past 10 years, there has been a really remarkable trajectory of this organization which has had a major impact on the way that scientists interact with each other and work together. We all see things a little bit differently and from our angle usually. And being able to explain it to a diverse group where everybody is interested in improving therapy for melanoma makes us all step up notch. Grassroots, private, getting together, committed to find a cure. That's why I'm here for MRA. I owe my life to MRA and I'm just grateful.